So I feel like let let it just be trash on its own instead of like creating it um, because it's just creating drama. Me, I'm not into drama, so I don't partake into that type of stuff. Even for me, you know, I have times where people will talk, you know, certain things and then they don't know me. So it will be like, OK, well, that's not true. They'll learn about it. And that's for anybody. They'll learn that these things are a full of B.S., so at the end, they're the one that's looking jealous. They're the ones that's envious and they look bad. Once you entertain those type of behaviors, you know, you could end up looking bad, even though Joe Budden, he may not be like this person, but him saying it to me, he's like, well, damn, you just, you not just like him, but you, you creating what he's saying. So it's like, just say, oh yeah, I'm successful, but you ain't got to say you want them to fail. Because What's wrong with saying that though? If you want them to fail, just, I'm just curious. Fail. Just like what you said. And putting yeah. salt on it. Because, I mean, let's yeah. be honest, even as a woman, I mean, maybe you haven't, but do you know women in general, if somebody hurts your feelings, like, I hope you fall down the stairs. Like, I hope you don't get that job. Like, I'm not really wishing people well I don't like. You know what I'm saying? Like, but what is the bad thing about saying, the person that been pissing me off for doing this, I hope you fucking fail and eat shit and your mama. Like, I, some point you feel that way. Yeah. I agree you know, that you could feel that way. Like, I'm not, because you can't hold feelings. It's just when you say that stuff out loud, you know what I'm saying? Speaking it to existence. You you're trying to make it exist, though, Lady you know, Di. I hope you fail. How many times I got to say it for it to come to pass? But that's the thing. I think that that's mad dangerous because you could fail, right? You saying, oh, I wish these people. I can't could fail. Even though, even I can't though. Fail. It's impossible. I'm you could fail. Right. I, I get what you're saying. You're saying like sometimes you can be bound by your own words. Right. But what That's I'm saying, I, I, I even I argue karma. So I'm like one of those people. Like you could do. There's bad things that consistently happen to good people, and people. One might say there are better outcomes for people who just cut corners, cheat, lie, scam, all kind of stuff. Right? We can say that in general. We say all the good, the bad people get the rewards, but. I always look at it like maybe because they don't really give a fuck and they know who to step on to get up to the air. Nobody is getting to the top being this righteous person. That's like, not what I'm saying. Like so, what you do and how you get to where you're going, no one has to know all of that. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about literally saying, I want you to fail. Like people, so let's say the people that you're talking about, these people that say they want you to fail. Why should we act like these people? That's what I'm trying to get to. Why the don't lady die. She's, he, he's not saying I want you to fail. He's just like this dude that keeps talking about me for the last seven, eight years. Miles Jones just does. This is what he does. He's like, this is what he does. So it's not like he just jumps up and says something. He says something all the time. It's he just antagonizes people. So at some point, he just decided to say something. And I, I, wait, I wait, 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 wait. I'm just curious. Y'all want y'all enemies to win? Right, like sometimes you just gotta. I like, honestly don't care if they win. Why? Why would you care if your enemy win? Why? Why? I don't understand why. Why would you? Wait, 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 wait. wait. It's, a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a direct question. Do y'all want y'all enemies to win? Yes, I want them to win. I want them to win and get everything that they need in their life. Well, guess what? One of the things that they want is for also. you to lose. They no. want your fucking no no that's no no no. Okay. They clear. can want that. No, no, no. That's okay, Anton. Well, let's be clear. That's okay. That losing you this losing football, them, bro. you them you losing to them is them wanting your husband. They want your spot. They want everything from. Listen, the problem the problem football, with us. Bro. The problem with it. us. The problem with us. And honestly, and this in our community, we give so many passes to the people that want to do us wrong. When we don't really understand it, and then we'll lean into spirituality and we'll lean into Christianity. In reality, God had whole cities wiped out by the fucking children of Israel as a result of going up against him. He would say, go in there and kill everything. Don't take nothing. Don't take their women. Don't take their gold. Don't take nothing. Smite, destroy everything. And the only reason that they was punished is because they was disobedient and they would go in there and take a woman or two or something like that. My point is, is that what makes y'all think that wishing well on somebody that want to kill you is good karma? Ain't no such thing as karma. It's never, not real. I never said that. 
I didn't say you did. I'm saying it specifically. It rains on the just. You. It rains on the just and the unjust. Good people die. Bad people die. Mm -hmm. Ain't no such thing as karma. The the reality yeah. is this: when somebody comes against you, because you don't actually want to put it into a real life situation. If somebody comes in your crib, you are gonna blow their fucking brain out. You're not wishing well on them. You're not. If somebody come to take your man, you are gonna be pissed. And just because we don't see it in a real life situation, you don't see all of these things as working behind the scenes against you. And so what you don't understand is that life is a competition. And this is why women can't think like men. In most instances, women can't compete like us because we are looking to take your soul. Listen, in a competition, it's only winners and losers. And even in the word of God, he said, I don't like people in the middle. I don't like fence riders. Either you going for the win or you going for the losers. Either you hate me or you love me. I can deal with the hate because I know what it is that I'm up against and I can deal with it accordingly. But I can't deal with somebody that's indifferent or say, why do you care at all? So you have to take, God, you have to take a position. To you got to take a position. If you love God, you want you want to smite your enemies. You you want you want them to die. You want them to perish. My, wait, 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 wait. But, but see, the, here's the difference. And this is the context that people don't understand from a Christianity perspective. Your enemy is the devil. Your enemy right. is not of the people. And so when he says pray for who you pray for your enemy, it's the people who you perceive to be an enemy when in reality, they're supposed to be your ally against the real enemy, which is the devil. And God don't like the devil. Is and it neither the people do I. or the principalities? And neither do I. My enemy is the devil and I want him to die a, hor a horrible death. I want him to go away and I want, him to stop, I want him to stop recruiting people so that he can do, do his bidding. I want to stop seeing the devil's work out here. He is my enemy, and I want him to die a, a, a horrific death. But there's a verse, though, Anton, in Proverbs 24, 17. It says not to, like, rejoice. Rejoice somebody's, like, um, like an enemy. Like, you don't... The stuff that you're talking about... I'm sorry, ma'am. You're going to have to, you're gonna have to quote, the, quote the word correctly. And right. address it. Right. You're not just going to come up here paraphrasing because every word means something when we talk about the scriptures. I don't really like to bring the Bible up on these... Well, then don't bring it. But we're talking about it. So, Proverbs... No, don't bring it if you can't quote it. No, I have I have it up. I was just oh, okay. saying. Yeah. Proverbs 24, verse 17. It says, Read the verse before it and the word, verse after it. All right. Let me pull the whole thing up. Mm. I, I have it. I'll pull the whole thing up because it says. And oh, make sure that you cite which form, which is it the King James version? Is it that? That? What is it? I got you. 